Hi, I'm Cheryl, and today we're going to be replacing the agitator dogs in a Kenmore washer. You'll need to replace the agitator dogs if you can turn the top of the agitator, but the base of the agitator does not turn at all. This repair should take about 10 to 15 minutes. For this repair, we're only going to need two tools, a flathead screwdriver, and a socket wrench with a half inch drive extension. If you don't already have new agitator dogs, they are available for purchase on our website. Before repairing your washer, make sure that you disconnect it from its power source and also turn off the hot and cold water. We'll start by opening up the top of the washer. First thing we need to do is remove the softener dispenser. Some models just lift right up. In this model, there's a locking ring. Lift up on that locking ring, and you'll be able to lift up, and it'll pop right off. This model has a cap. We need to remove it with a flathead screwdriver. Just pry it up. And it'll give us access to our agitator cam. In order to get the agitator cam out, we need to remove the plastic fastener in the middle. We're going to use a half inch drive extension. In other models, there's often a dust cap that you can just remove, and under that, there's a bolt that you can remove with a 716 socket wrench. In this case, we're just going to remove this plastic fastener. You may need to hold the bottom. Now we can lift up on the top part of the agitator and dump out the agitator cam. So here we have the agitator cam with the four agitator dogs. In order to remove these, we need to lift up on this plastic piece holding them down. So we'll take a flathead screwdriver and try and pop those up. And then we can lift that plastic piece right off. We can take out the agitator dogs. When you get your new agitator dogs, they're going to come in a set of four. We'll simply place them like so. Make sure that the curve of the agitator dog is actually matching up with the curve of the agitator cam. Now we can replace the retaining clip. Just make sure to line it up with the grooves. And press down until it clips into place. Now we can reassemble the top of the agitator. We'll start by placing the auger, and then we'll insert the agitator cam. And finally, we can insert the spring and the fastener. We just need to bolt that down. We can replace the agitator cap. Finally, replace the softener dispenser. This one pushes down, and then just push down that locking ring. And that's all there is to it. Here's a recap. All of our OEM parts and tools are available for purchase on our website. Check them out along with our social media sites here.